Hello YouTube, this is Chris with the 1990 Pontiac Firebird. Today I'm working on my 2010 GMC Acadia. I found that somehow the buttons on my rear air climate control module had been either broken off or just basically removed through no fault of mine, through my no knowledge of mine. And I was, there's nothing, repeat nothing, on the internet on how to take this thing apart anywhere out there. So I felt it's time to make another video and show you guys how to do it. Please excuse my voice. Unfortunately, uh, I have laryngitis from the change in weather. And so I just want to show you this I thought was going to be a real bear, but actually it's not that bad at all. First... And foremost, underneath, there's two screws that you have to move from the bottom side of it. The bottom side of it will actually not, you can see the tabs right here, one here, one here, and they actually sit below here. You have to slide the arm, the center console back, like so, in order to get to them. And then you can see the holes here and here. That's what I did first and lifted it up. Unfortunately, a lot of the videos talk about this uh, this bezel coming off real easy. And what I found is that that isn't the way it comes off. In fact, I've actually kind of dismounted mine where I'm going to have to glue it back together. What I wanted to show you was once it got there, I was kind of confused and not sure how the rest of it came apart. So I really had to dig into it myself. Again, there's nothing on the videos anywhere to show you how to do this. When it sits like this, especially, most of the other videos are going to show you that they are all one piece, not this little back half of the, the center console. So, as curiosity got the better of me, and because I've taken part of this apart before, I was not bad at all. And what it amounts to is this. What I had to do before was removed i had to fix the actual armrest before which was another job in itself where it actually came apart where i actually put another actually an old license plate in there and refirmed it up and glued it together and actually got it to work again in this particular case it's this simple and backtracking what i've already done it actually is the tray like this you have to take you have to take the top off as such, and that which comes back here with these with these several screws back here, followed by these four screws on the bottom, and then there's two more up in here, which are kind of hard to see in this light. One here, one here. That lifts the whole tray off there. Finally, finally, then there's two more screws that this this back half lifts off of. Here and here. All the other videos are going to show you taking the whole center console out. This is nothing like that. Once you get this far, you can see it easily comes apart from here. I'm going to disconnect the wiring box from here, like such. 